Hello, my dear friends. I'm entomologist. I'm studying insects. I'm studying small parasitic wasps. And where we are living, we are living everywhere. Even here, we are sitting inside this bunch of leaves. These leaves of chestnut. And we are just damaged by chestnut mining moth. These all spots, they are just spots which have been done by larvae, by caterpillars of chestnut leaf mining moth, Cameraria of Redella, invasive species which is widely distributed all around the world, especially in Europe and already in Ukraine during more than 10 years. And here inside these leaves are a small parasitic wasp living and they are declining, making declining population of chestnut moth. If you're an entomologist, professional entomologist, or just maybe lover of insects, maybe just a matter entomologist, sometimes you need to be very careful and attentive to find, to observe insects. And of course, you need to have some very simple equipment. Which one? For example, bottle, plastic jar, maybe you need to have just very tiny aquarium net. Not sweeping net, but even aquarium net can be useful to collect some jumping insects. You need to have just this jar with some holes, because if you are walking around somewhere near your house, in a field, in a grassland, maybe just in a simple garden, in a botanical garden, you can be careful here. You can put some insects inside the jar, inside this bottle, put here some leaves to feed these insects and to make some observations of these insects. That can be very useful, interesting and entertaining. And of course you need to release this insect if you don't need it. If you just made some observations, please release your insects. Don't put it to your collection on pin, on entomological pin on just or your amateur pin. It's much better if you take photo, if you take just small video, and you can deposit your video and photo somewhere. You can deposit, you can upload your video. In is very important and very useful international websites databases like iNaturalist database you take photo of insect somewhere on leaf on on bunch of trees leaves or maybe just somewhere on grass or even on ground you deposit this photo on iNaturalist or just database like gbif or Ukrainian database Kukurbin Kurbin and it will be very useful for scientific research because your indication of new collection will be identified by specialists and your unique original photograph can be used for scientific 